Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today I am back with another NYX review video, this time specifically taking an unbiased look at their new Revolution bras. Of course we'll do a full try on, we'll take a look at the bra, see how it fits, and also take a look at some of the specifications for it. Now I know that this bra was supposed to be like three years in the making at NYX, they've been working on it for a very long time time. So I'm super excited to see how that fits. Now I do personally feel like for me some of the bras at NYX can be hit or miss. I absolutely adore their Lux Lift wireless bras and tanks, but some of the other bra types I've tried I just really really did not like. They didn't work for me, they fit a little bit awkwardly, but because this is another fully wire free bra that is supposed to be similar to the Lux Lift where it provides you support with Without any wires needed and is supposed to be super comfortable, I'm hoping that I will love it. And in the name of disclosure, I do want to remind you that I am a NYX ambassador. This means that they do occasionally send me products so that I can review them. I am not under any obligation to only say nice things. I always give my 100% truthful and unbiased review. This also means that I will have a discount code for you in the description box. So if you do decide to make a purchase of any kind, you can use that discount code to save a little bit of money, which is awesome. And if you do choose to use that code, I will also make a small affiliate commission off of it. So if that makes you uncomfortable, please don't feel like you have to use it. And if you do decide to use it, thank you very much for the support. Now, this is the bra and maybe I should have worn a different color of top, but you can tell that I do love the color. <laughs> so this is the new limited edition color Eucalyptus, which I would consider to be like a sage green. This new bra, as opposed to the Luxlift bra, which is a scoop neck or there is one v-neck version, with thick straps. This one has little thin adjustable straps, which the Lux Lift does not have. This one does have a molded cup design. There are removable pads in here, which we know that sometimes I don't love how these look once I try it on, but we'll see once I physically put it on. This does have a typical clasp enclosure, and there are five rows of clasps to choose from, which I think is good, versus the standard three. A lot more adjustable. Now this bra does come in sizes to cover everything from a 44H to a 30A, and because it is super stretchy and it's more of a bralette, I would say that very likely it can fit slightly bigger and slightly smaller than that as well. And I do like NYX has updated their website so that you just put in your band and cup size and then they tell you what size you should get in the bra. I did that for this one. It told me to get a size medium, so we'll see how accurate that is once we try it on. I did also get a matching pair of the leak-proof high-rise undies so that we can kind of try them on as a set, see how it feels, see how it looks. I say let's just get right into it and see how we like it. All right, so this is the Revolution bra on. I have it right now on the loosest setting, which is good. When you buy a bra, you should always be buying one that you have to do on the loosest setting because bras stretch over time and you want to be able to tighten it as they stretch out. Now so far my first impressions I like how it looks. I do think that it's giving me a little bit of lift, obviously. It's giving me a little bit of cleavage and it looks really good. We'll try on a shirt as well to see. I don't think that I'm going to have like horrible uniboob in this, but I do feel like there's not quite enough separation in the middle that like you might have that experience, especially if you wear a lot of like t-shirts and stuff. So if that's something that bothers you, just be aware that that is a possibility. The straps feel really comfortable. I have had in the past a NYX bra that I felt like the stitching was kind of uncomfortable on the straps and it dug in a little. I don't have that experience here at all. It does sit really nice and flat and very comfortably. This strap underneath, if you have tried the Lux Lift pullover bras before, I think you'll be very familiar with the feeling of this where it feels non-stretch and like not super loose and not super stretchy, but that is what is giving you support and making it so that all of the pressure isn't just on your shoulders. And that's really important in a bralette so that 
you don't need to have wires, but you still have support. And let me just be clear, it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything, but if you're used to a Lux Lift pullover bra, it'll feel exactly the same. It's just not quite as wide. Like I said, I got the size medium, and I do wonder if the medium plus, which is just the same band, but a slightly bigger cup, might have been a little bit better. Like I do obviously have some spillage over the top, and like I said, things aren't quite as separated as maybe I would want them to be but I do think overall that it looks really good and I must say that it is incredibly comfortable. If you want just like a nice everyday bra that you can kind of wear anywhere. This would be super comfortable for everyday wear. I would be happy to wear this to work or wear this to an event where you're going to be there for a while. It feels really good. It doesn't feel like it's like going to bother my shoulders. And of course, because it's so adjustable on the shoulders, I would probably want to wear it once at home for the day first, just to see what I need to do with the straps, if I need to make them a little bit looser or tighter. But I think that it is like a really nice bra. Now it does have the removable cups inside. I do think if you got this in white, it would probably be a little bit sheer without the removable cups. That wouldn't necessarily bother me, but that's just something to note if you don't like the cups. I do feel like the cups in this are actually an appropriate size, at least in the size medium. I can't immediately see like where they start and where they stop, which is good. And that like, that's the thing that most people don't like about those cups. I really, really love the color of this. I think it is absolutely perfect for for fall. And then I did also get the matching leak-proof high-rise undies, like I said. These are incredible. If you are somebody who likes high-rise underwear, you find it more comfortable, you wear a lot of high-rise pants or dresses, I honestly cannot recommend these enough. This is the leak-proof version, but they have just like a regular essential version too. I will be honest and say, if I'm wearing underwear, 90% of the time it is NYX leak-proof underwear. I just wear it all the time. <laughs> it's very comfortable. I feel like it's great at wicking away any sweat or anything if you're doing an activity. I just wear the leak proof 100% of the time. If you just want some essential underwear, they have the exact same styles just in the essentials, but these are awesome, nice and high. They're not too cheeky. And I personally feel like I can wear these under most pants without underwear lines. And I hate underwear lines. If you wear something very, very tight, I you would probably be able to see them, but it lays super, super flat. It's not too tight around the hips and it provides more than enough crotch coverage. So I don't feel like things are slipping out all day, which is really, really nice. I also personally love that they always release new underwear colors like every season that match bras. Because I don't know about you, but wearing a matching bra and underwear set just feels so good. I feel so adorable whenever I do it. So I really, really like that. Now back under some clothes, I do feel like you can see that the cups are a little bit too small for me. I probably should have got the medium plus. You can see that I have a little bit of like spillage over the sides of the bra, but I don't feel like you can like see lumps or anything in the bra itself where the removable pads are, which I really like. Now, obviously this is a very similar color top, but this is quite sheer and I feel like it looks good underneath. It feels really comfortable. I don't feel like I have any like lumps or bumps. I personally really hate when you have a bra with a underwire in it and you can see like a chunk of where the underwire is. Obviously this one is completely wire free so you wouldn't see that regardless, but I like how seamless it looks with the one exception of you can see a little bit of like my boob spilling out of the bra. But that's just a sizing thing. I could easily exchange this one for a different size. And overall, I have to say, I'm quite happy with the new bra. Like I said, I've had a few instances where some of the bras from NYX really didn't work for me. This one works for me. It feels super comfy. Definitely something that I will reach for especially if I'm ever wearing like a lower cut top and I want a little bit of like va va boom cleavage because I love the Lux Lift pullover bras. I wear them constantly. Like that is my most reached for bra of all time. I have multiple of them, but they definitely don't come down very low. They're more of like a straight across. So you don't have like any cleavage at all 
Whereas this, I feel like if you want like a nice, sexy pop of cleavage, this is going to give you that. It almost looks, at least on me, a little bit like a push-up bra, but without the uncomfort of a crazy amount of padding. Like it's just pushing up what you already have and kind of enhancing it, which I really like. I think that it looks really flattering. And those are the pieces that I have for today. Definitely let me know if you have tried any bras from NYX and how you liked them. Also be sure to let me know if you tried the revolution bra how you like it it seems like so far i'm really gonna like it obviously time will tell but it feels very high quality like most nyx products that i have so i think that i'll have it for a very long time which is awesome also let me know where you get your bras i literally only have bras at this point from nyx and from airy i don't buy like real bras anymore i haven't had an underwire bra in years i literally don't think i have a single one left i'm interested to know like do a lot of people still go to the victoria's secrets le Vion rose any of those those types of places because I just don't really hear them talked about that much anymore and I really feel like everybody switched to more bralette styles with the pandemic so I'd be interested to know do you still reach for your underwire or like push-up bras and with that thank you very much for watching this video today I really appreciate it I hope that you have a fantastic day and that I will see you next time bye mm -hmm.